S8 leaks have shown us a very complex UI, which is diff a slight, slightly different from the ones we've seen before from Samsung. When the Galaxy Note 5 and S6 uh, Plus, Edge Plus, were launched, like they introduced this new design of icons, rounded icons with a new touch to them. Yeah, very nice design. So now I've got an S5 Mini, yeah? And I've been trying to get the S8 design. Seeing that the 6.0 update hasn't actually brought any, like... It hasn't brought, um, like, a theme app, like Samsung Themes. So that meant that I couldn't get the Galaxy S8 UI. And I really wanted that, so... I, get, I'm, I was very disappointed. I've been trying to find a lot of ways, so I've tried with an app called Awesome Icons to set the icons, thinking that I actually changed the app icons. Fortunately, it only puts a shortcut on the home screen, so phone and contacts look different now. So, I have had an idea today to use Nova Launcher Prime, so I'm going to show you that today. Nova Launcher is a free app on Play Store, but you can't resize the apps on it. So, just to let you know about that. So, it's like £4 in the UK, so... I think it's a bit expensive, but it's worth it when it comes to features. So, set it as your default home launcher, not home launcher. Then, go to Nova Settings. Actually, no. First of all, Desktop. Take the app... app Draw, move all your apps to the left, put the apps button here, and I'm going to change it like first. So, long press, I've got the latest version, press edit, put a click on the icon, gallery apps. I use ES File Explorer because scrolling is quicker. Huh? So, I have, I'm going to put a zip file in the description, so just look out for that. Oh, wow. Okay, so let me try with gallery. I am going to find app drawer. Clicking on that. Okay, press gallery, not yes, file explorer. My work better. Sorry, the camera's having a problem focusing, and for some reason there's a pink tint to it. Sorry about that. So it's loading. It's quite a high graphics picture. While it loads, I want to thank uh, like Sam Mobile for start, uh, for leaking the images. So um, it gave me the idea originally. Then there's this developer, next day developers who who made some of these icons. Now made the rest. So yeah. Uh, I'll, just, I'll write a link to the post where I got the some of these icons from. So, he had like, I guess 19 or something. I'm not exactly sure how many. And I did like some others for other apps. So, third party apps. So, I guess it's going to be alright. So, I'll be back as soon as this finish, finishes loading. Then you have to crop it to the right size. And... Press the un and press down again. I finally managed to get the app thing loaded. I had to reset the app, but it's all right now. I'm gonna move the search bar a bit down because I don't like it up there. So now what I'm gonna do is go into settings, and here we get all the Nova settings. So it's the default launcher. I got Prime 5.0.3. So what I'm gonna do now is click on red count badges. Turn it. Actually, now I'll do it from the top. So first, go to desktop. Desktop grid. I like five by five, but the bottom has to be five. You can do this like whatever you want. If it's a small phone for medium phone like mine, four by five inches, five. Small phone like four inches. Big phone six, even seven for a tablet or something. Depends. It's just your taste. So then I click done. Then you go into icon layout. I'll keep the size at 105 because I've tried other sizes and they didn't work out that well. So I keep label on. Click back. 
click the persistent search, keep the persistent search bar off as we're not using a Nexus or something. Choose this logo style for Google so then like it looks more Android y. Scroll effect. Keep it simple. I mean not like simple. I mean literally simple. Uh, all people scrolling, keep it off. Page indicator, leave it like that because there are no other indicators. Add icon to home screen, I'll keep that on because it's more realistic. To like a Galaxy device. So then I click back. Sorry if I move the camera a bit back because I need to see the actual screen. Okay, then you click app and widget drawers. Draw app grid. Keep it the same. Is that actually what it's called? Okay, then the icon layout, size and label. Again, 105. Oops. There we go. 105. Keep label on. Click back. Uh, quick, click frequently used apps off. Then click on app and draw style vertical. Change it to horizontal. Switch card background off. Click swipe to open on. So then you can switch swipe to uh, swipe indicator off and this off as well. Background. Choose dark shade of black. Then click again and. And set 50% transparency. Transparency. This is not exact because I actually haven't ever used an, an S8 yet. So, I guess. It's, maybe it's best to change it because the, they are a bit dark in the leaks. So, 27%. Should be good. So, transition animation. The last few galaxies has always been fade. So, I think I'm going to go with that. Enable fast scroll bar off. Scroll accent color. It's gonna be white. Search bar on. Pull to search off. Tab bar is gonna be off. Scroll effect. Simple. Hide apps. You can hide some apps that you don't need. Like I'm gonna hide some apps, like some modules, some extra apps that I don't really want to show. Uh, like Nova settings, because that's a bit of some space taken up in the app drawer. Well, this is only if you have Prime though. So just on red, go and get this off as well. So click back and back again. Then like let's go back here. I think that's it. Yeah, it is. Hold us first. Keep it on. Next, we're going to dock. So here, what you have to do is click and make sure dock background is off. Cheers. Click back. Then we want to click dock pages. Keep it at one. Done. Then click dock icons five. Icon and layout. Keep it at one hundred and five. Let me switch label on first. One hundred five. Click back. Advanced number position. Actually, now it's not going to be important. Next, what we are going to do is go into folders. Sorry, the phone's running out of charging. Can't use flash. So, going to use folder preview grid. So, then we have to change the folder background to custom. Gallery. Click this blank picture. I think I clicked that. Can't see it. I'm just gonna double check because I think I might click the WhatsApp or the WhatsApp or the exposed one. And then uh, uh, transition animation. It's gonna be zoom. Click done. Background and layout. We're going to make the background. Same as before, with 27% transparency, icon and layout. So we are going to make the icon size 105. 
and shadow. No, so the color of the text should be white because you can't see black uh, black on black. Click back, back again. Next, you want to uh, wait. Maybe there might be something in look and feel. Screen orientation, you can change that. Animation speed. You want to change this into Nova. It's already going to be there. Dark icons. Search as overlay. It can be useful because you don't have to go to Google app, but I like keeping it on. It's something optional. So, going back, it's gestures and inputs. So, here you can change a lot of things. I'm not going to, though. Then we're going to go into unread and count badges. Unread count badges. Switch it on. Basically, here we're using Tesla unread. So, I'm going to keep it classic. Make the badge color orange, because that is it on my phone at the moment, I guess. The corner radius is going to be... Eight, and I'm going to leave it at medium because it isn't that small. Provider Tesla on red, I've got Tesla on red 5.0.2, and yeah, so that's it with the settings. But now it's going to be like the harder bit of this the apps. We're going to change the app icons individually that is going to take some while so I'm going to start with calculator so click uh, drag it up to edit you have to do this on the app drawer so then changes it in the whole launcher click gallery apps gallery and then go down to this icon calculator icon click done and done then you do this for calculator uh, for calendar. I'm going to change this into S Planner just for display. I'm not sure if it's still going to be called that when this called that when this phone launches, but I'll take my chances. So S Planner, I'm going to change the icon. Gallery apps, gallery. So this calendar icon, done. And done again. Then I'm going to change camera, edit, gallery apps, gallery, going to go down to camera, done, done, etc. So I'll be back when this is done to show you the final package. Here we go guys, so the camera is a bit blurry, the phone is still low on charge, it's like 9%. So here we go. The icons are all, not all, because I haven't done every single one. Complete, so I'm going to try and update this icon pack. Maybe bring it to an APK if I can manage it. Going to try some other things. The only problem I can't change though for now is the search apps. Maybe I could use a new, an older version of, of Nova Launcher. And the, the page indicator which they should make customizable because I, I've had an idea on how to make like an S8 if you could change it. So guys that's it from Phones Tablets to Us. Please subscribe and share if, with friends if you really like this. I might try and do a Nova backup file but I'm not sure if it will, if it will work if you don't have the files. So if you want to try you can too. So this one's a tablet for us over and out. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that the nav bar binds on the S8 are going to be different from these ones from Samsung that have been on Samsung devices for years. So I'm running a custom ROM here on Galaxy Tab 2 and I wanted to put these icons on just for the sake of it to show you guys. So, the first thing we'd have to do though, to take these icons and change them into the S8 ones, is download the file, it's a zip file, from the link in the description, and install this application soft keys. Make sure you extract that file and put them all in the, in the phone or tablet's memory, 
and make sure that the device is rooted and has the navigation buttons or if you want to get them like if you have a custom ROM like some gen mod where you can put them even if you don't have them or you're not meant to so first thing you want to do is open soft keys skip introduction do whatever read if you want get root permissions then you want to import the buttons so first you would press the menu press import buttons I've already imported them so I'm just going to show you how you do it so you open and maybe it's in recent maybe it isn't so if you can try and find it so if you have like file manager you should be able to navigate to it from here or gallery you can even go to gallery so here seeing this back button I'm going to click here on the back button I'm going to press save right now I'm going to discard it because as I said then you're going to do the same for home back and down I mean home down and recents so down is here by the way and don't get confused with these two like I always do so now what I have to do is go back and go to the bottom I seem to click something else and click on all four of them and up here the icons will be changing so now we got four icons that are different they aren't perfect because I'll have to update them they're a bit too big but for now they're the best we've got so press one and one times one or one times 1.666 and keep going because they'll be the same so It'll, my tablet takes a bit of time to boot, so I'll be back as soon as it's done. Right, so now the tablet has booted up. So swiping up, we find the new button. It's not perfect; they're a bit big. So and not just because it's a tablet; they'll be big on every device. I'll try and shrink them down a little, and they're a bit close together. I don't know why, but that is to do with the tablet, though. So, thank you for watching. This is Phones and Tablets Ross, signing out for real this time.